Welcome back to Living in Wait. Today is the final episode of Forests for Life, our year-long series in collaboration with the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources. We've come full circle to the beginning as we explore native forests and culture and one culturally rich aspect of our forests. Here is the 12th and final installment of Forests for Life. Doug Bumate is one of the few guys around who can take a native koa log and fashion a racing canoe from it. We glide on the ocean with strength and in power. Determined to care for earth and sea. Now, if there was a time machine I could go back, I, I would love to see how it was done, their techniques, their tools. You know, just, it's mind-boggling what they did back then with what they had. Doug is at the Kapapala Canoe Forest on Hawaii Island with Riley De Matos from the DLNR Division of Forestry and Wildlife. The stuff his ancestors had to move were 45 to 48 foot long, 10 ton koa logs suitable for building vessels that in ancient times moved people from place to place and were used to catch fish for food. On the way up, we were talking to Doug, and we should be using koa for canoe building. It's, it's. I, I would, I would hate to see the knowledge and the pastime loss if we don't get canoe logs out to the public and to the canoe carvers. You know. After many years of discussions, DLNR's forestry division is finishing up a management plan for the Kapapala Canoe Forest, which will allow traditional koa canoe builders to harvest a certain number of logs. De Matos is building on the work of previous foresters. As of right now, we're just finishing up the management plan. Um, it'll be then going to the DLNR for approval. Um, once that is done, then we'll figure out an allocation process, and then we'll uh, make a group or form a group to decide on the allocation process and then hopefully soon after that we can start the uh, log harvest. Building a massive racing canoe from enormous logs was a learning process for Doug. Of course I learned from my dad. My dad uh, kind of learned from his grandfather when he was just a little guy. He, it was kind of like the, his grandfather planted the seed in him. That seed sprouted for Doug. And when he started his first log, I was that little guy, you know, two, three years old. And um, it never stopped since then. And now he's hoping to continue the tradition through his 17-year-old son, who was too shy to appear on camera, but is showing interest. I, I enjoy it. You know, it's, it's a passion that, that grows on you, right? And when I grew up, I thought everybody did it. You know, I was a little kid. And when I got older, I realized that nobody does this. So it, it's, it's a special thing being able to, to do this, right? So, yeah. It's a good thing. A good thing to cherish, preserve, and practice the past. The canoe he's currently repairing was built more than a half century ago and is being ready for the upcoming race season. As Doug and the few remaining traditional canoe builders look forward to the day, soon when they can take trees from the Kapapala Canoe Forest, he reflects on maintaining the traditional way. It's an art. Today, a lot of people build a lot of, a lot of strips, whether it be cedar strip canoes you see in the mainland. There's some people here doing a lot of core, core planks and strips. Um, but that's how it was traditionally done from way back. So, and that's a, a dying art right now with, with the full log, right, from a full log. So that's a dying art right now, and it's, I think it's very important for us to keep that and, and pass that down. You know, like they're doing with hula, we're trying to do our part with, with canoes. Great information, and thank you guys so much for sharing your time with us. Appreciate it. Again, this concludes our year-long series, Forests for Life. Our thanks to the Department of Land and Natural Resources for providing all the raw materials to illustrate the vast number of things Hawaii forests provide for all of our lives. To learn more about Hawaii's forests or to make a donation to Project Natural Areas, or Protect Natural Areas, that is, visit dlnr.hawaii.gov slash d-o-f-a-w.